let's talk about our solar system. We live on a planet named Earth. Likewise, Earth also exists in its home with other seven planets. And only star is Sun and many other small objects called asteroids, comets, dwarf planets, meteors, etc. So basically the solar system is a system of sun, eight planets, dwarf planets, asteroids, meteors and comets under the gravitational influence of our sun. So about the origin of our solar system, there are three to four major theories of evolution of the universe and ultimately of solar system. The prominent theory among all these is the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory proposed by Georges Lemaitre, the universe is evolved from a small singularity and then it expands over the next 13.8 billion years and still expanding. It led to the formation of many billions of galaxies, solar system, stars, etc. Our solar system lies in a spherical shaped galaxy called the Milky Way. The nearest galaxy to us is Andromeda. Generally, there is a black hole at the center of every galaxy. Sagittarius A is a black hole at the center of our Milky Way. Then, about our solar system. In our solar system, eight planets and many other celestial bodies revolve around our sun in elliptical orbits. The dwarf planet named Pluto was removed from the list of the planets by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. The sun is the powerhouse of the solar system. It is the only source of energy in the solar system. Planet Mercury is nearest to the sun, while Neptune is the farthest planet from our sun. There is an asteroid belt between the Mars and Jupiter. Planets inside the belt are distinctly different from those outside the belt in terms of size, mass and composition etc. Planets inside the belt are called terrestrial planets and they are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Planets outside the belt are called Jovian planets. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Terrestrial planets are near to the sun with met metallic minerals and rock crust with a thin atmosphere and have less number of natural satellites. While the Jovian planets are away from the sun, made up of hot gas, have rings around them and have a large number of natural satellites. Let's see about sun. The only star in our solar system and powerhouse of the solar system. Composed of hydrogen, 73%, helium, 25% of gases and other metals. Sun carries almost 99% mass of our solar system, approximately 15 crore kilometers further away from the Earth. It takes around 8 minutes 30 seconds for light at the speed of 3 lakh kilometers per second to reach the Earth. Temperature at surface of the sun is 5800 Kelvin or 5600 degrees Celsius. The temperature at the center is 15.7 million Kelvin. Let's discuss about our Mercury now. The closest planet to the sun and very hot planet. Smallest planet in the solar system with diameter of 4900 kilometers. Fastest planet with a speed of 172,500 km per hour to complete one resolution around the sun in 88 days. The planet with no water and gases like nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. The next planet is Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system with a surface temperature of 478 degrees Celsius. It is also known as Earth's twin. It is because of the similarity between the size and the mass between the Venus and the Earth. One of the two planets in the solar system which rotate around its own axis in a clockwise direction. The brightest star in the solar system, it can be seen in morning and evening with open eyes. So it is known as the evening star and the morning star. Now about our Earth, the only planet to give support to life with a pleasant atmosphere. It is also known as blue planet because of the presence of water in it. It has only one natural satellite called moon. Now, the Mars. It's known as the red planet because of iron rich soil in it. 
the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury, has two natural moons, Phobos and Deimos, has a thin atmosphere and surface with valleys, craters, deserts and ice caps etc. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and the tallest mountain in solar system lies in Mars. Now Jupiter. It is the largest planet in the solar system with shortest rotation, has an atmosphere filled with hydrogen, helium and other gases. The third brightest object in the night after Moon and Venus. Great red spot, a giant storm in solar system exists in this planet, has at least 79 moons including four Galilean moons. Lo, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto were discovered by Galileo and Ganymede is the largest among them. It has unclear ring around it. Now, about Saturn. Second largest planet in the solar system and a gas giant has bright and concentric rings around it which was made up of tiny rocks and pieces of ice. Saturn can float on water because it has less density than water has at least 82 moons and Titan is largest among them. The next planet is Uranus. It has the third largest planetary radius and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. It is greenish in color, discovered by William Herschel in 1781. It is also known as Ice Giant. The atmosphere of Uranus is composed of hydrogen and helium primarily, but it also contains more water, ammonia, etc has the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, rotates clockwise on its axis like Venus, but unlike other planets. It has at least 27 moons. Famous moons are Miranda, Ariel and Umbria. The next planet is Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. It is also known as ice giant. The atmosphere primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, bluish in color because of presence of methane in it, the fourth largest planet and third most massive planet in the solar system. Discovered by Johann Gale and Urban Le Verrier in 1846, the only planet in the solar system found by mathematical predictions. It has known 14 satellites. Famous moon is Triton. And the last planet is Pluto. As per the new definition of planet determined by International Astronomical Union, IAU, Pluto has been omitted from the list of planets in 2006. Pluto is considered as a dwarf planet, size between planets and asteroids, and it is a member of Kuiper Belt. Kuiper Belt is a spherical boundary outside the orbit of Neptune, containing a number of asteroids, rocks, and comets. Next, other space objects. First one is asteroids. These are small objects rocks, mostly debris, revolving around the Sun. They are mostly found in asteroid belt, which lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. These are also known as minor planets. Ceres, Vesta, Psy are some famous and large asteroids in the solar system. The second one is meteors and meteorites. These are also known as shooting stars. Meteors are the small size rocky material which is generally formed due to asteroid collision and approaching the Earth. Because of the Earth's atmospheric layer, these small rocks burn before reaching the Earth's surface. But there are some meteors which do not burn completely and land on Earth's surface. They are called meteorites. William Mate, Embosi, Cape York and El Chaco are some meteorites found on Earth's surface. Lona Lake Maharashtra in India is supposed to be created by a meteor impact in Pleistocene epoch. Now the third one is comets. These are shiny luminous tailed stars. These are rocky and metallic material surrounded by frozen gases. These are generally found in Kuiper belt. They travel towards the sun. Their, face, their tail faces opposite of the sun and head faces towards the sun. They become visible when they travel close to the sun. Halley's Comet is famous which appeared last time in 1986 and which reappears after every 76 years. So that's all about our solar system. Thank you.